Welcome to another episode of Class Haven Farm. So what have we got going on today? Well, today we're going to do an unboxing of the Vevor 1500 pound ATV cart. So if you're interested in this cart, stay tuned. Uh, see how this thing looks when it's packaged and how we uh, put it together. And we'll show you it in action. So stay tuned. If this is your first time here at the channel, welcome. Uh, my name is Andy and this is Class Haven Farms. So um, I don't know if anybody would be interested in an ATV cart like this. Uh, if you are interested and you decide to make a purchase for it, I will say this, uh, there will be a link down at the bottom because we are, uh, Class Haven Farms, we are an affiliate with the Vevor company. Uh, some of you, if you've been following me for a while, you know, that we have bought stuff from them in the past. The actual the uh, chicken plucker that we used back in the spring, which I'll link that video up here at the top. Um, we bought that from Vevor, and I've been pretty happy with that. So I thought, been looking at garden carts and ATV carts and things like that. I have a lot of things that I could use this cart for, which is why I made this purchase. And to be perfectly honest with you, this. Uh, for the price point on this, it was actually pretty good. I think on sale was like $269, and this same style cart that you see out with other companies runs anywhere from $400 to $600. Um, so I said, well, you know what? I'll try it out, see what it looks like, and um, do a video on it and let you guys take a look at it. But if this seriously, if this is something that you're serious at looking and you go to make a purchase, there'll be a link down in the description. Make sure you use a link, just kind of help us out. So pretty well packaged. Uh, some of the box, I'll walk you around it. It was kind of damaged a little bit when it came in. This uh, this thing by itself is pretty heavy. So um, it's like it's pretty it's packaged pretty well. So I think what I'll do is I'll get everything laid out for you guys. Uh, it does come with an instruction book, which is always good. Uh, some of the reviews that I saw said that it didn't come with an instruction book. Um, so yeah, so let me get this thing, get everything pulled out of the box and we'll get it laid out and we'll start trying to put it together. All right, got all the parts laid out. Um, there's all the hardware and the mat that goes in the bottom. Uh, so it's kind of cool what I thought about with, with that mat, you can use it. Um, obviously you can use it sometimes or you can take it out and then you just have the wire mesh here. Uh, the plan for this cart. Not only am I going to use it for firewood, but I'm also going to use it to haul my 31 um, meat chickens after they come out of the brooder uh, to go down into the bottom pasture this spring. So I thought I could build a box up around this and kind of encase them in that and just make it easier to move them. So that's one of the reasons why I bought this cart, the versatility in it, where you can leave it open like that. Um, or you can put the mat in there for like when I put the baby chicks in there because obviously three week old broiler chicks feet will definitely fall through this expanded metal. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this thing together and then I'll kind of bring you guys along. Uh, the instructions seem pretty self-explanatory. I got everything laid out pretty well. So I'm not going to go into too much detail on putting it together. But uh, I'll show you some stuff and then hopefully we'll get this thing together before the sun goes down because we're not too far away from it so the first part of the instructions tells you to take the two bottom halves of the trailer put them together and then they have these four inch long nuts and bolts with washers that are a half inch on each side you run these bolts through here and that pulls this together and then you have the shackles here that bolt onto the side that also bring these two pieces together and then this is where your axle will run through. When you're putting these halves together, don't uh, don't tighten these bolts down all the way until you put these brackets in for the axle. 
uh, because if you do tighten it down all the way, you're not going to be able to line these bolts up for this, these plates that go on the side. So once you get one of these axle brackets, brackets excuse me, once you get one of these axle brackets on, um, then you want to run your axle through, and then it gives you these uh, these two bolts and nuts to run down through there. And the reason why you want to hook up one side of the axle is pretty self-explanatory. You're not going to be able to run the other side of the axle down through it. I'm going to leave this loose, at least leave the axle loose. I'm not going to tighten this until after I get it all together. And I have not tightened these two four inch bolts uh, that, or two inch bolts <clears throat> that connect both halves of the bottom of the bed. All right, so ran the uh, axle through here, connected the bolts, but I have not tightened them up. What I'll do is I'll run these ones down through here, get these two put on, put the washers on the back side, and then I'll stand it up and do the other top. And then once all of that is done, I'll go through and tighten all of these bolts down. And then we can move on to probably putting the orange sides on. So really, I don't think this is going to take long. I think we will be able to get it done before the sun goes down, which is good. Um, it kind of stinks. Today Saturday, and uh, I didn't do a video uh, last week for my Saturday upload. And I haven't done one in two weeks since I did the Christmas tree. And again, it's just holiday season, working extra, kids having stuff. So I think the one thing that I want to try to do for next year is try to be more consistent on getting my videos out every Saturday at 6 a.m. And, you know, if it happens, it happens. If not, it's not the end of the world. I mean, this is just something that I do for fun. And, uh, you know, once it gets to the point where it's not fun anymore, I don't I shouldn't be doing it because <laughs> I have enough stuff going on that if it's not fun and I don't like what I'm doing I shouldn't shouldn't waste my time in it that was one thing my grandfather used to always say he used to always say if uh if you don't like what you're doing especially if it's work you should quit and go work for the DMV or the NBA or whatever they want to be called now because uh, then you'll fit right in if you hate your job because he's pretty sure they all hate their job I have some fun friends that work there, uh, but I still think they would probably laugh at that. He used to always make me laugh. He would say that. So now we got all that together. So I'll go ahead and start tightening all this stuff up. And then I just did a sneak peek, look into what's next. And what's next is hooking up this bar that runs uh, for the tow bar to hook up either to the ATV or the lawn tractor. So I'll go ahead and get all these bolts tightened up and then we'll move on to the next step. So I'm going to show you guys this. When you get to step six, it tells you to grab uh, parts six and five. And the way you have to do this, it has a boxed end here on this part. And then it's a three quarter inch nut here on the bottom. And this is actually part of the dump feature. So right now it's latched in. But if I pull on that, it'll open this up so that this body can dump so it's a dump feature to it um i definitely had to move some stuff around and try to figure that out i just thought i would share that with you guys i didn't record it because to tell you the truth i was like i really don't know what this is asking here and then this one's pretty self-explanatory run this box tube down on the inside Get some of the, uh, powder coat on that. so you're going to take some of that powder coat off which kind of stinks because this thing does have a good finish to it definitely did a good job with the paint with the uh, powder coat on this and as I keep saying if you're interested in this make sure you use the link down at the bottom if you haven't subscribed to the channel if it's your first time here hit that subscribe button follow us along oh this is where it's gonna get a little dicey here because See if this will fit. 
Oh yeah, the washer will get in there. I didn't think it would fit in there with that washer. There you go. So anyway, if uh, if you like stuff like this, follow us along. Definitely have some plans for this cart. Definitely have plans here on the property. A lot of things going on here. Just uh, as I've said time and time again, just a single dad starting over after divorce. So if you're a single dad trying to figure it all out, follow me along. I'm definitely trying to figure it out myself. You have these spacers here. So you put the spacer in. Uh, your tires are directional. And then just make sure when you put it in, you put it in with your valve stem on the outside. And then put another spacer there. Ready to kind of pin through. All right, let's get this thing stood up. So the last thing that I have is to put all these sides in so they just slide down in this box tubing here. They have these holes, so you want to put the holes in the corners because you're going to take these clips and put them through. But I'm going to put all of them in first because uh, it's a lot easier if you put them all in first and then you can line the holes up. But your holes all want to be in the corners of the trailer. So this just gives you some easy removable sides. Which I kind of talked about. I'll probably build some wooden sides to come up here and box this in. And then I can put my um, Cornish Cross three-week-old chicks in here. And if anybody has ever seen uh, just a few acres, I'll make a little plunger system to kind of pull them down towards me here and make it easier to take them out and set them in the chicken tractor when we get to that point. So you just take these pins and you just line your holes up. And then it just snaps in. So do that for all four corners. And then that's the uh, that's the trailer. Really not too hard to put together. I did have that thing with the axle. I guess just because of the way the instructions looked, I thought maybe I was doing something wrong. Um, so just kind of had to move stuff around and figure it out. But it is nice that you can take these sides on and off. So not only can you use this for firewood, but there'll be a bunch of uses that I'll have for it here on the property. So I think it'll work out pretty well. And as I've said time and time again, use the link. Please use the link. It's funny. I think a lot of times people do buy products off of using someone's links, but uh, they don't always click on the link. They just look at the video, and then that's it. So as I said, since I'm putting firewood in here, I'll just roll this mat out. And... That way, any of the debris here from this firewood can just fall through. So there you have it. There's the Vevor 1500 pound ATV lawn cart. Uh, so you'll definitely be seeing a whole lot more of this cart uh, kind of helping us here on the property. And um, again, use the link down below. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you got any questions about anything. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next one.